Ms. Dana Harper is our uh, East Fannin Elementary Teacher of the Year. Uh, Ms. Harper is a first grade teacher and two things that make her uh, an effective teacher is number one, she creates a uh, caring environment. Um, uh, she, she meets students at their needs and so she just creates an environment where kids want to learn, where they want to come to school. Um, she is, she might, she doesn't mind getting on the floor with the kids or whatever it takes to have the kids to, uh, to learn and, and be successful in her class. Uh, the second thing is, is she's willing to be a lifelong learner. Uh, she goes to professional learning. Uh, she comes back and implements it in her classroom. Uh, she is constantly meeting with our academic coach. Um, and just, just trying to figure out ways to, to reach her students better. Um, what I feel makes Ms. Harper um, a great candidate for Teacher of the Year is uh, she cares about her students not only academically, but uh, their overall well-being. Um, and I had the privilege of working with her um, last year in reading and in math, so I was in you know, her classroom quite a bit last year. I had a child come into uh, first grade struggling in reading. He was below grade level. Uh, he had low self-esteem in that area. Uh, we worked through the year, small group, and he read paired reading with, re you know, with friends. Uh, he came in below grade level, went out above grade level, uh, feeling real good about reading, feeling uh, successful and having more self-esteem. That was one of the best days I remember. The fact that I get to nurture uh, my children, help them uh, build on their um, on their strengths, and feel you know close the gaps on their weaknesses, help them get where they're needing to go and wanting to go. It's important to make connections with your children. In order to make connections with your children, you need to have background knowledge on them, know their families, learn about them, and that helps you bond with them and they will do better in your classroom when they feel like you care about them. Now tell me, what, what do you like about Miss Harper? Uh, I like when she gives me dojos. I feel as though uh, when it comes to Miss Brannon, uh, the number one thing that she does to promote student learning has to do with the love that she provides to each and every one of her students. Uh, I'm going to back up. I've known Miss Brannon uh, my entire life. Her grandmother uh, kept me. Um, she was my babysitter and she loved me like I was one of her own. And fast forward to today, that DNA is thick because like I said, Miss Brannon loves every single one of these kids like they're her own. Secondly, uh, Miss Brandon is selfless. Uh, she will sacrifice. She will go without so that others can succeed. And uh, that selfless manner, if we were all like that, that there's no limit to what we could accomplish uh, as a school system. One minute is definitely not enough time to discuss all of Kimberly's attributes. She is an amazing special education teacher. Um, she wears many hats around our school, including being a team leader, supervising all of the special needs teachers, making schedules for all the students, making sure all the needs are met. She also is one of the first people that the school calls when a student is in crisis. She has this profound ability to be able to de-escalate students that are just having a tough time. She's amazing when it comes to um, crises management of our students. Another thing is Kimberly loves her students, each and every one of her students, and her students knows that she loves them. And I think all of those attributes together is what makes her an amazing special education teacher. My best day teaching is, I don't have just one best day teaching. My best days are when my students get to move out of the resource classroom back into the regular ed classroom because that means I have done my uh, job at teaching them what they need to know to be successful in the classroom. 
I love working with students um, all day long, and I get to work with students from kindergarten to fifth grade. So I get to watch them grow up um, from being babies to being able to go to middle school. My advice is to love your students and for them to know that you love them because then you will be able to teach them. Uh, what do you like about this Brandon? I love her though and though she teaches class and stuff though and tells everyone what to do though and though she work and stuff and teach everyone how to do nice things and, though, and stuff. Make sure and make sure everyone does good. The thing I love about Ashley Coffinger is that she is just um, one of the calmest people I know. She brings calm to any, any situation and um, what makes it effective for students is that she is able to take some of the most difficult behaviors that students have, um, whether it's you know not wanting to do their work or just misbehavior and she brings calmness to them and helps them find a way to stay calm um, and make it through whatever challenges they face. Um, additionally, she provides supports and services for them in their classrooms that they're able to meet success no matter what obstacles they face in the classroom every day. She's, she's an amazing teacher. So I think what makes Ms. Coffinger a great teacher is she is able to reach those students that are sometimes labeled or seen as untouchable. She's really um, has a knack for tearing down those walls and reaching those students on more than just an educational level. She's able to build relationships with them and meet all of their needs and really teach to the whole child. I feel like that's really important because I feel like those students otherwise probably wouldn't have had that relationship with someone in the educational system. My best day teaching was the actual very first day that I received my classroom and it just happened to be in special education. It was an exciting time and a nerve-wracking time, but um, I definitely remember just the excitement of being able to pass on to my students just all that I'd learned. I was very eager and excited to get started. What I love most is probably the relationships. I get to spend and form with my parents and my students. I think that is the most important step before teaching can even begin and learning can start is to have that relationship with your students. So definitely the most important thing to me. My piece of advice that I would give to a new teacher is to love first and foremost, above all else with um, how any bias because it is easy. I feel like for humans to love if you're coming to school clean, happy from a good family, but sometimes those kids that are less fortunate fall through the cracks and they also deserve that same amount of love and understanding. I like because she's nice and she lets us play a lot and she helps us learn and whenever uh, we are, get sad or whatever, she helps us and she makes us happy and she's a good teacher and she's one of my favorites. David Queen is an effective teacher for many reasons. The two primary reasons uh, that I, I think he's most effective is that he is persistent for the success of the child. He, uh, he encourages children to be successful and he guarantees that they have the chance to be successful simply by how he works with them, when he works with them. I've seen him work in after school, before school, uh, lunch times, break times. Uh, and it's not so much punishment. I mean, this is, he does things because he truly wants his children, his, uh, his particular students, to be successful. The second reason is that he cares for them, and these young people feel cared for. 
They don't look at him as someone who is just trying to get something done. They look at him as somebody that uh, engages their life, is interested in what goes on with them. Uh, he truly cares for them in an humble, passionate, kind, caring way. He's a very wonderful teacher. He does all the things well. Okay, so I've worked with Mr. Queen for a few years, but this is the first time I've worked with him directly. And no matter what's going on in the classroom, he is level-headed, he is calm, he's constantly thinking about what each individual student needs. And he makes it look effortless. He works with students who require a lot of special attention, and it, it does not seem to phase him. He just, he rolls with it. And I think that's a, that's a great quality to have in an educator. His patience under pressure um, in a large group of students or even a small group of students, he is determined to do what he needs to to help each one succeed. My best day teaching was I had a student who came from an alternative school, and she t was telling another student, you know, I felt smart because Mr. Queen showed me how to do this. Is it math? She was a struggling student. So, you know, just a moment when students feel like, you know, feel like I've made a difference. Uh, what I love most about my job is, you know, seeing the kids, working with the kids, you know, especially when they can understand, you know, when it, they, they're struggling with a concept and then all of a sudden they, you know, the light comes on and they understand what I'm trying to teach them. All right, my advice to a new teacher is uh, the first few years are going to be challenging, but just it will get better. Stick with it. Uh, learn from your peers. Talk to the older teachers. You know, just don't give up. Just persevere. Now, what makes Mr. Queen a good teacher? That he's really nice and sweet. He's fun. fortunate to have Miss Dyer on our staff here at Fannin County High School. Our staff selected her as our Fannin County High School Teacher of the Year 2021. Uh, Miss Dyer wears a lot of different hats at our school. She's not only our yearbook advisor, she's in charge with our reading enrichment program, and she oversees our teaching profession course. Uh, she's very compassionate in all three areas. Um, all three are, are very different, time consuming. Uh, but she, she has a unique way to provide those hands-on experience for all the students that she comes into contact with. Uh, we're very fortunate that she's so willing to be a part of so many different facets at, at our high school. Uh, I'll tell you one other thing we, we do recognize about Ms. Dyer, she's very patient. Nothing more says that than she's been married to David Dyer for 30 years. Uh, congratulations to Jill. Uh, we wish you the best and we're very proud of all your efforts here at the school. Thank you. Jill Dyer's passion for her students and the profession is what makes her an exemplary teacher. I've been privileged to know Ms. Dyer for the past 10 years or so, and her ambition and her devotion to her students has never ceased to amaze me. We've spent the past two summers engaged in professional learning about literacy practices where we've evaluated current research and the best practices to support our students. Jill has taken this to heart and she walks into the classroom every day to impact lives. There's never a question as to why she's there. Relationships are the key to her, and we see those relationships develop over the course of commitment and constantly being there. She goes above and beyond her, for her students, and even when she no longer taught her reading students from last semester, she donated her time to try to help continue that. Jill Dyer is a rock. She's an asset for Fannin County School System and for our kids. My best day as a teacher had nothing at all to do with me. I was teaching a class of ninth graders and in that class there was a student on the autism spectrum. He was having a really hard time adjusting to high school. And so that particular day he had had some trouble and I had in encouraged him a couple of times. Um, but I could tell that it was building back up again. And as I stood up to walk over uh, to talk to him. One of the students that was sitting near him held her hand up and she said, wait, Miss Dyer, we got this. 
and several of them just gathered around him and they seemed to know just what to say to calm him down and he didn't have any more trouble the rest of the day. And I went home that night and I thought, I have the greatest job in the world because how often do we get to see teenagers, especially 14 year olds, show that kind of compassion and that kind of leadership. It really encouraged me and made me very proud to be in this profession. My favorite part of teaching is definitely the interaction with the students. I've always said working with teenagers will either make you feel really old or to make you feel young. And fortunately for me, it usually makes me feel young, which is always a good thing. The advice that I would give to new teachers is that even great teachers can have really bad days. There are gonna be days that your world tilts and everything goes sideways. Your lesson doesn't work out the way you thought it would. Um, your students are still confused even though you keep explaining it over and over. What you need to do on those days is just regroup and figure out if there's a better way to do it next time. Our students are going to learn the most valuable lesson from us in those situations because they're going to see how we handle adversity. And the greatest lesson we can teach them is that the way we handle failure is what determines our success. She's very, um, On the tip of my tongue. Well, don't worry, we got nothing but time. Let's hear it, Just take your time, uh, bun. What is that word? She helps with understanding. You know, she's very, very, she's very understanding of us, and whatever we put in, she puts just as much more effort in to make sure that we get it. Yeah, she understands she, that we don't always have the right time or the right resources yeah. to to do what needs to get done. So she's always willing to step in and help. When we asked for it anyways. And like when we had our teaching class and I, I took her first and second level, um, she was always very, she, she knew what, she knew the topic and she's, she's very, very smart. She's very, um, she just, she hits the points she's exactly how She's very knowledgeable they need to be. about what she's talking about and, and in she every knows how to course do it. It, it's, she it's, it's effective. Her teaching strategies are very effective. Children and our young adults. 
We are delighted that all of you here tonight are in attendance to recognize the achievements of our nominees. Dana, Ashley, Kimberly, David, and Jill are truly educators who make their students want to jump to the skies. Shortly, we will begin the dining process. So you will find your salads delicately arranged in your seat. The dressing is on the table along with a menu for tonight. When your table is called, in just a bit, you will go through the line through those doors to obtain your delicious entree, a choice of savory pot roast or chicken. Garlic mashed potatoes and country green beans with bacon will be on the side. The drink and dessert stations are also at the back of the room. Mercier's is furnishing our wonderful meal tonight. So for dessert, there are Mercier's famous fried pies. In addition to apple rum, uh, sour cream, and pumpkin cakes. And I believe there's some donut holes. If you do not feel comfortable carrying your plate or drink, please let one of us know and we will be happy to assist you. Also, I would be remiss not to mention that tonight is Denver Foster's birthday, our Director of Transportation. The biggest gift I can give Denver at this moment is not singing to him in front of all of you. And if you've ever heard me sing, I think you can agree that is the case. Now, Bannon County's own Director of Student Achievement Sarah Rigdon, the other superior Sarah, <laughs> will introduce this year's esteemed Teacher of the Year nominees. Okay, so we have an inside joke about which Sarah we are, and we couldn't go with me being the old Sarah or the mean Sarah, uh, so I like superior. That's not the <laughs> My name is Sarah H. Rigdon, and I have the distinct pleasure tonight to introduce our uh, candidates from each of the elementary schools, middle school, and high school. And so, when your name is called, if you don't mind, please stand me while I read a little bit about you. Uh, this will be fairly painless uh, because we want everyone here to get to hear a little bit about each candidate. So, of course, we have to be alphabetical. So, our first teacher of the year. Mrs. Ashley Coppinger is representing Blue Ridge Elementary. Mm -hmm. Ashley holds a master's degree in mathematics from Western Governors University. She is currently a special education teacher presenting second grade curriculum and behavior expectations to her students. She has taught eight years, all at Blue Ridge Elementary. Ashley and her husband live in Fannin County, where they're raising four sons, Eli, <laughs> Hayden, Daniel, and Benjamin. They enjoy being involved in many sports in Fannin County, including football, basketball, and soccer. Thank you, Ashley. Our next candidate from East Fannin Elementary is Ms. Dana Harper. Dana holds a specialist degree in curriculum and instruction from Lincoln Memorial University. She teaches first grade and she has previously taught second grade at East Fannin. She has been teaching for 16 years. Dana is the mother of two wonderful daughters, Mrs. Brittany Newton and Miss Brandy Harper, and she has two adorable grandchildren, Harper and Henry Newton. She says she counts it a blessing to have a small part in helping our youth become happy and productive members of the community. Thank you, Dana. Our next candidate from West Bend Elementary is Mrs. Kimberly Brown. Kimberly holds a specialist degree from Lincoln Memorial University. She is the lead special education teacher at West Fannin, and she serves students in pre-K through third grade this year. Kimberly has also taught 16 years, and she has worked in both the Gilmer County School System and the Fannin County School System. She has been married to her high school sweetheart, Tim, for 15 years. They have three children, 
Lexus 14, Cahota 13, and McKenzie 6. Thank you, Kimberly. And now from Fannin County Middle School, Mr. David Queen. David earned a Master's in Special Education Behavior Disorder from Columbus State University. He currently teaches on the sixth grade team, providing support to students in math, ELA, science, and social studies classes. This is his 20th year in our profession and his fourth year at Fannin County Middle School. He previously has taught at Upson Lee Middle School for 10 years and Crossroads Psychoeducational Center for six years. David has shared that he is honored to be selected as the Teacher of the Year, particularly since it is an honor bestowed upon him by his peers. He says that in the preceding 19 years of teaching, he has experienced some heartbreak and quite a bit of stress, but he's also experienced tremendous joy working with children and many wonderful peers. Thank you, David. <coughs> Finally, the Bannon County High School Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Jewel Dyer. Jill holds a Master's in Education from the University of Georgia and currently teaches Reading Enrichment, Ninth Grade Literature, Yearbook, and Teaching as a Profession Pathway classes. She has been teaching 20 years, and in addition to Fannin County High, she has worked with students at Mountain Education Charter High School, Lumpkin County High School, Towns County High School, and Georgia Virtual School. Jill and her husband David have been married almost 30 years, living in Fannin County for the past 10 years. They have two children, Courtney, a Georgia Southern University graduate who is currently attending Florida State University School of Law, and Dusty, a University of Georgia graduate who is currently a doctoral candidate in the physical therapy program at Augusta, Augusta University School of Applied Health Science. Jill has recently discovered a passion for working with students who are struggling readers and hopes with God's wisdom and guidance to continue building on this passion for the remainder of her career with Fannin County Schools, helping students achieve academic success. Thank you, Jill. Let's give all five of our candidates a round of applause. Not just at this event, 
but other events as well. Phenomenal job, Mr. Uh, thank you to the media that's here tonight. Fan and Sentinel, Vision News, uh, the News Observer for you know, providing outstanding news coverage of this event. Uh, and then any other media sources that might be here with us. I do understand we have a new uh, media source in town, Blue Ridge Mountain News. And I hope they're, they're out here with us as well. I'd like to thank them. The Fannin County School System wishes to acknowledge the following sponsors for their contributions to the Fannin County Teacher of the Year Bank. Uh, Mr. Charlie Edmondson, the State Farm Insurance, has donated. Kevin Painter Insurance. I've seen a representative here from Kevin Painter's office earlier this evening. Thank you. Sisson Log Homes, Jim Sisson here. Thank you, Mr. Sisson. TDS Telecom. They've always been a very good supporter for the school district. Uh, Wilson Hamilton, LLC, Attorney's Office. Thank you for your contribution. United Community Bank, I've seen their representative here. Uh, thank you. University of North Georgia, the Blue Ridge campus. Thank you for all your support for our students as well as this event. And Willow Creek Falls, Angie Tankley and Shea Winkie for the beautiful facilities. Let's give all these folks a round of applause. Yes, this evening is my birthday, and I couldn't think of a better place to spend it with, with all of you. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm going to have Miss Shannon Miller come to the podium here. She's got some words for you. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Shannon Miller, the Director of Student Services, and it's a privilege to be here with you all tonight. I have the honor of introducing our special guest. Our previous teachers of the year, our heroes, our legends, if you will. These are the people that um, we all look toward and up to as members of our profession, and they've helped to lead Benny County where it's at today, and I'm very honored to be a part of that. When your name is called, if you are able to be with us tonight, then you're able to stand if you would do so so we can recognize you. In 1989, Miss Debbie Day-Lewis. 1990, Mary Crowder. 1991, Joyce Mitchell. 1992, Sherry Welch. Mm -hmm. 
2016 Ginny Bale. Uh, so 
So thank you for the, the excellence that y'all do. Your devotion is beautiful. I know, I heard someone say that y'all have bad days. I study a little on my computer about what a, a teacher does. And I suspect that y'all are under the gun pretty firm. You know, in, a, in a words of a lawnmower man, your task is pretty difficult. So, thank you. Thank you for enduring the hard, keeping the child first, and doing what's best for, for our children. So, see if I can find another thought. And this is the heart of the whole matter. Teaching information in a way that will be remembered in the years to come is the greatest gift you can give another person. My pop called it learning how to learn. To adapt, to use what knowledge you have, to uh, work with whatever you've got to improve. And y'all teach a child that discipline, that uh, that skill, which is uh, it's awesome. Uh, I would love to expound on how teachers have impacted my life. So, Eureka! Y'all don't hear that in the classroom, do you? But that eureka is what happens when a child's mind is open and accepts learning, accepts something that they couldn't do, and suddenly they realize that they can do it. Not just the smart kids, but everyone can learn given an opportunity. And thank goodness y'all y'all do that. You teach all of our children. Uh, you know, an eureka. If Eureka happens, it's a wonderful thing when the light bulb turns on. I had one teacher that did that for me, or I had several teachers. And I still remember those moments. And in doing my computer search, I found that a lot of historically great men, if you talk to them, you'll find that they go back in, in their lives, you'll find that someone gave them a Eureka. Uh, an epitome, uh, a moment when uh, they were set on fire with a desire to, to be better, to do their best, or to reach for the stars, or to have the courage to do things that they'd never do if they hadn't had the, the, the uh, leadership and the help of a teacher, somebody that cares. Uh, I've got a note scramble for just about it. This is a particular year banquet, and it is our most, in my opinion, our most important night of the year. And the reason I say that is because this is when we honor excellence. Uh, we, we honor it in all other areas, too. But the teacher is a grassroots, one-on-one -on -one person with the child. And uh, every, everything else functions in his for them doing their job, but y'all doing your job. So God bless you. We thank you for doing what you do. And I'm sure I can speak for uh, everyone in the school system. The past record, the accomplishments that, that the school system has done, that the teachers have done, the, the, I don't know how you can get the bar any higher. Then to, well, we, what, we're our graduation is 94.2, uh, approaching 100. So I guess we can clean up that and reach 100 someday, if we will. But my desire is to tell you that y'all are wonderful people. I hope you realize how important you are to society. Uh, there's some, I don't think I have the words to impart to you. I wish y'all, and I know y'all are so busy, you're doing what needs to be doing, but uh, if you just take a moment and stop and reflect how you're changing the world. Not 200 years ago, this was totally difficult. A teacher may stir up one Eureka, and that Eureka person, that little boy or girl, may be the one that cures cancer, 
that may be the impetus that causes them to continue to do it, to keep trying, to keep on. Could you maybe the next little Abraham Lincoln? Or maybe the next Mr. Trump? So they can get a life out of that, did they? <laughs> well, God bless you and thank you. Thank you for what you do. I hope you'll keep doing it. And be proud of what you do. Y'all call her a team. That's true. The team is made up of professional good people. And y'all are all that. The team is the whole individually. Y'all should be proud. Y'all should go home with your head down, held high. And be so thankful that you've been able to be a teacher. So thank you. God bless you. I hope the wind is in your sails. I thank the good Lord. I hope the good Lord takes a liking to every one of you extra special. And everything goes your way as long as you are. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grace, for those wonderful words. Next, I'd like to introduce our vice chair, Mr. Chad Hill.
keep on doing what you're doing. My wife will go into Walmart and some child will run up and say, Miss Karen, and hug her. I bet you they do that to you. I bet you they do. And that's good. You know, in today's society, though, sometimes people don't want to do that in fear of getting in trouble or something like that. But let me tell you something. I've found out since I've been on the school. A lot of those children who get in trouble are only wanting a little attention and a little love. And you just know that from dealing with all those children. You just know that. They don't get it at home. They don't get it anywhere else. But they'd like to have just a little love, a little attention at school. I remember, I like to have a little attention and a little love too. But I appreciate everything that everybody in this room does for our school system. I congratulate our five contestants who are going for a teacher of the year this year. And all these people who are on here recent and years gone by, teachers of the year, you deserve it. Um, I don't think I'll say much more. Uh, I know Mr. Brown, he's got a good speech. And I know Mr. Cole's got a good speech. So I'll leave you this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Beard. It's wonderful to remember. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Terry Brown. Thank you, Ms. Green, and good evening. It's an honor to be with you tonight. Um, contrary to what Mr. Beard has said, I do not have a speech prepared, but I would like to thank you. Um, thank you for choosing to be an educator, and thank you for doing it so very well. Um, you represent Fannin County, and you've already heard about the accolades we have received. We're so proud of you and, and the work that you do. If I can quote, this is dire. I believe you do have the best job in the world. No other profession enjoys the ability to change the world the way that the education community does. It, you're changing lives, one day at a time, one student at a time. I've been blessed to have the opportunity to work with young people most of my life. And I get to see some of that progress, not to the degree that you see. I usually have to pay to do it. But uh, nevertheless, you are changing lives. I want to congratulate all five of our teachers of the year tonight. And I understand that one of you will be selected or has been selected to represent us at the next level. But you're all teachers of the year. You're the teacher of the year for your respective school. And, and there are lots of awards in life, but few of them match the prestige and the honor and reward bestowed by one's peers. Uh, truly meaningful. So you're all exceptional. Now, I'd like to thank all of our former teachers of the year. We have quite a, a number that are joining us here tonight. And there's a lesson there. If the five of you, uh, as recipients of this award, know that it means you have to finish the rest of your teaching career in the family connect school system. <laughs> um, I guess, but we, we do want to keep you. And thank you again for doing your job so very, very well. You certainly make us look good, and our students are the real beneficiaries of your excellence. Thank you.
Bobby's talking about change. Uh, Miss Mitchell was my uh, school teacher at Morganton Elementary, and you just had to be a baby. Because you look just like you did. You're so, you're so, look so good. And uh, I was having memories uh, pop back when I saw her stand. Uh, I lost two uncles that year. And it flashed back in my mind the comfort that you gave me in elementary school. You know? Y'all put a lot of uh, love into some kids that maybe don't get it. I, Unlike Bobby, the, the teachers loved me because I got whippings every day. <laughs> they showed me a lot of love. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm so proud to be able to serve um, with all these fine educators. And I'm so excited about our future. Are you excited about the future? of Fannin County Schools. I'm, I'm, I'm revved up about it. I'm excited. We've been going through the vision. And um, I believe that we have a vision to uh, reach more kids. And we have great teachers, like just like the nominees. Man, you're such a standout to be nominated. But we have awesome, awesome teachers that dedicate themselves to, to, to loving and nurturing and building these young minds. And I'm so so proud of you, but you know, I was thinking about this. I didn't know I was going to get to speak, but I'm always trying to learn, and I'm trying to be a better leader, a better manager, and you know, I was looking at the statistics of, of the 80s, of the five largest churches in America that were riding so high, so many of them just uh, overflowing with people today don't even exist. Because they rode this wave up and they never changed, and they rode the way down. And as I look across this room, I have watched leadership from our superintendent, who I thank you so much for his leadership ability. And I look at people back there have been moved. I see people over here that have been moved. They moved for a season to catch another wave, to not go down, but to go up. That excites me. That I, I believe that we have leadership that is moving you guys and the gift that you have, he's using it and moving you into a different location to keep us going. Because I, I believe that we can attain 100% graduation rate in this school system. So I'm excited to be a part for this future. And I'm excited for these teachers and everyone who gets to go and represent us. I'm, I'm so proud, and I know these guys are so proud of you, and uh, man, I just, <clears throat> let's just keep riding that way. Let's, let's obtain, because they, let me end with this. When I got to close with comments at the last board meeting, uh, a great man early in history said, imagination is better than knowledge. And uh, the reason he says that is your imagination will cause you to find the people that have the knowledge to get you there. And I believe you are those people. I believe God has placed you in this place with an imagination to see the young people that you're pouring into be greater than they can even imagine. And thank you for your efforts. Thank you.
Rotary Club and sponsors many community activities, including the elementary school fall festivals, Fannin County baseball and football teams, and the Boys and Girls Club of North Georgia. Charlie Edmondson was unable to attend tonight's banquet, but sends his congratulations to tonight's nominees. Kevin Painter Insurance. Kevin Painter Insurance is an independent insurance agency that has operated our community for 30 years. Kevin Painter Insurance is, an act, is active in the community as well as the school system and generously supports many school events. In addition to monetary donation, Kevin provides the play-by-play -play announcements for Rebel Radio and Rebel TV. He is an active member of the Kiwanis Club of Blue Ridge and a, life, and a long time volunteer fire, firefighter and EMT in our community. Kevin was unable to attend tonight, but has asked me to pass along his congratulations to tonight's nominees. Jessica Franklin and Allison Bennett are here tonight representing Kevin Painter Insurance. Sisson Log Homes is one of the largest manufacturers of log and timber products in the southeastern United States. Founded by Jim Sisson and other members of the Sisson family in 1980, the family owned and operated company has been manufacturing materials needed for the construction of log homes for nearly 40 years. Sisson Log Homes supports the community through involvement with Family Connection, Goals of Hope, the North Georgia Parade of Homes, Fannin County School System's Young Farmers, and Fannin County High School's construction classes. Jim and Faye Sisson are here tonight to represent Sisson Log Homes. TBS Telecom is a large corporation, but it remains visible in our small community. In addition to sponsoring the Teacher of the Year Banquet, TBS Telecom is the title sponsor for the Fannin County Chamber Golf Tournament. TBS Telecom received the 2011 Business of the Year Award from the Fannin County Chamber of Commerce in recognition of the many years of service they have provided to the citizens of Fannin County. Kelvin Harris was unable to attend, but he sends his congratulations tonight to tonight's nominees. United Community Bank has been in business for over 30 years in our community and is an active member of the Blue Ridge Rotary Club, Kiwanis of Blue Ridge, and the Fannin County Chamber of Commerce. United Community Bank supports organizations like the Boys and Girls Club of North Georgia, Feed Fannin, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. On the education end of the spectrum, United Community Bank supports Fannin County schools in many ways, specifically the Stuff the Bus program for four years and the Junior Board of Directors for 12 years. United Community Bank may be most widely known in the community for their customer appreciation tomato day. Corey Callahan is with us tonight representing United Community Bank. The University of North Georgia Blue Ridge campus opened in fall of 2015 with 18 dual enrolled students from Fannin High School and two classes. This fall, the campus is serving 200 students from throughout the North Georgia region, offering 25 different courses and opening a new campus in the fall of 2020. The University of North Georgia has five campuses and a total enrollment of over 20,000 students. UNG has been named to the Forbes list of best colleges for the fourth straight year. Number 16 in the top public regional universities in the South by U.S. News and World Report. And in 2019, U.S. News and World Reports named UNG as one of the top 10 colleges where graduates have the least amount of student debt. UND, UNG was the only college in Georgia to be named in the top 10. Dr. Mike Rogers, Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs, and his wife Janice are representing the University of North Georgia this evening. Wilson Hamilton LLC has been in business in Fannin County for 12 years. Wilson Hamilton supports many Fannin County youth athletic programs, local artists, the North Georgia Parade of Homes for Fannin and Gilmer Counties, 
the Humane Society, and Snack in a Backpack. Terry Wilson and Jay Hamilton were not able to join us tonight, but they do send their congratulations to our nominees. Willow Creek Falls has been a gracious host for tonight's event. Willow Creek Falls has now been open for six years in, and is active in the community. Thanks to Angie Tankersley, Shay Wimby, and their dedicated helpers, Summer and Donna, for setting up and decorating the room. The support of these business individuals to Fayette County Schools is greatly appreciated. A certificate of partnership commendation has been presented on behalf of the Board of Education. The certificate reads, in recognition of their dedication to community service and ongoing support of public education and the youth of Fayette County. Thanks again to all the sponsors for tonight's event.
Okay, now from East Haddon Elementary, the principal, Matt Price, and their winner is Dana Harper. From Fannin County Middle School, we have Principal Keith Knuckles and their winner, David Queen. Thank you, Betsy. Teachers behind each of your awards are countless hours of preparation and work to broaden the minds, build the characters, and better the lives of students. In a broader sense, your work ensures the continuity of our great nation. Our government, which is for the people and by the people, cannot exist without an informed citizenry. And our educational system is a significant component of that notion. Teachers, there are great demands on you. But I want you to know how much your administration, your board, your community, and I are by your side. I'd like to congratulate you by being recognized by your peers as the Teacher of the Year at your own school. What an honor to be recognized as exemplary by your colleagues. Now for the next, now for the next very difficult round. The five school winners were vetted by a team from Pioneer Research. This included completing a set of questions that are a part of the State Teacher of the Year application, as well as answering questions asked during a recent face-to-face -face interview with those members of the Pioneer Risa team. From this process, our Fannie County Teacher of the Year, as well as runner-up, have been chosen from the five. Our Fannie County winner will go on to represent us at the state level. I will first recognize our runner-up. From Blue Ridge Elementary School, Ms. Ashley Coffin, if you would please stand for a round of applause. Congratulations to the 2021 Fannin County Teacher of the Year from Fannin County High School, Ms. Jill Dyer.
And at this time, I'm going to allow Ms. Dyer to come over the podium and share a few words with us. Ms. Dyer? Let's give them all a round of applause.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our presentation. Once again, thank you to all who helped prepare for this evening's event. God bless you.